Hello there and welcome back to some more Forza Motorsport 4. Today we'll continue on Let's Play. This is episode 17. In today's episode we are taking a look at the Alfa Romeo Mito spec series. For that we need an Alfa Romeo Mito. So we're going to buy the 2008 Alfa Romeo Mito. How many times can you say Mito in one episode? I'm going to buy a Mito in white because it reminds me of my mother's old car. Because she used to have an You Alfa also Romeo have a wild Mito. Scotia who seems to orgasm it every time someone says Mito. Mito! Oh, you can stick a V6 from an Alfa Romeo. Oh God, it's ugly. Oh god, you can make it. Oh Jesus! You can make it look uglier. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That is a horrifying. Somehow you can make an alpha look uglier. Yes. How dare you say that? These are some interesting body mods. I am not. Yeah, I have the most unpopular oh. opinion when it comes to alpha males. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <coughs> what is that? It is a body kit. <laughs> Add a piece of metal to your car and make it weigh four pounds less. Anyways. Alfa Romeo Mito Spec Series. This Spec Series hosts Alfa Romeo's front wheel drive turbo hatchback, the Mito. Magello Club Circuit. Which is ironic because this is the same place we drove the Fiat Punto Evo Sport, which is exactly the same car as the Alfa Romeo Mito, because the Alfa Romeo Mito is just a Fiat Punto. Actually, no. Body. Actually, no, it's it's essentially a Fiat 500, which no, it's not. coincidentally no, it's not. is also based on the Fiat Punto. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not. Don't it get is. me on f don't get don't get me on Fiat platforms, because you know there's one person that knows Fiat platforms and it's me. The Panda mm -hmm. was the original car. And then it was the 500. The Mito is related to Punto, and the Punto is a GM. Delta, no, not Delta. Lancia Delta. No, it's the GM Bravo platform, I think, which means it technically, it technically sort of shares something with the Corsa, but they're a fair bit different, but kind of, sort of similar. Uh, it's weird, but yeah, no, this is a Punto. Wow. And the Corsa's slightly a Punto. Because the Corsa and this generation of Punto Mito come from that time where GM actually realised that they owned like 20% of Fiat and didn't realise. Well now Fiat is about to own 20% of everything. Fiat is 20% of everything. Also hey, this even has the same sort of <coughs> interior as my mother's Mito because it has the weird carbon fibre thing. Although it looks like actual carbon fibre in this car which I can safely confirm after being in an Alfa Romeo Mito. It's not actual carbon fiber. Lovely. It's sort of pushy plastic that feels kind of nice. It sort of exists. Rossi and Mule are going side by side in the Alfa Romeo meter. It's some exciting action. He's diving up the inside. Oh, there's one more lap in this than there was with the Punzers, but I think that's because this makes slightly more power than the Punzer. Oh, well. 153 horsepower, which is more power than my mother's because that made 155. Because this is the slightly better Mito, Mito, Mito. Mm. The one in Gran Turismo is the 170 horsepower one. No, it's the 150. For whatever reason, games don't want to use the more powerful Mito, which I never understood. Because there's the clover leaf that makes like 170 horsepower. Do you know what I actually got with the clover leaf? What? A clover leaf on the side. Wow. And also the single worst wheel design known to man. Really? Yeah, they're like f ten spoke, but like only f five spokes were painted. So it looked a bit funky. All right, I'm gonna bed. I'm gonna All right, go to bed. Later. Later. All right. Oh, look at that perfect pass on Rossi right there. Look at all those beautiful Mitos in my back mirror. Alfa Romeo Mito, greatest small car ever made. I mean, it is. Oh, I know one thing about the Mito. What? Retardedly big tyres. Really? Yeah, I think it had like two, three, fives on it or something ridiculous. That's fucking stupid. Yeah. 
like 17 inch 235, like the back wheels were bigger than the car. Huh. Wait, Scotian, does that mean this has bigger tyres than your Challenger? Yeah. I think meters are like 235s or something ridiculous on them. My, my car is 245s. Not far off then. No. Also, I had a full. I had a pretty really good day. There's a lot of there's a lot of performance cars that have bigger tires than I me mean, for some reason. Yeah, my car too. <laughs> I have like one of the most powerful front wheel drive cars I can think of that isn't a hot hatch. It's like, hey, two or five tires, nice. Also, discussion yeah, had an epiphany the other day. Oh boy. You might have the only car in this server that I'd actually spend money on. What? Because everyone else's car just I wouldn't buy. <laughs> what? Racist. Well, they're in too poor a condition. I Your, mean, that's true. Yours has too many miles on it and it looks cosmetically too shagged. Uh, LRC's cars are cosmetically shagged and have too many miles on it. Jurassic's car I wouldn't touch because it's an ex cop car and I don't trust the police. Um, Scotian's car is actually nice and also, you know. Reputable. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't actually buy his car because it is a Challenger and I don't care about the Challenger, but. Like, it, it's a low mileage Challenger, so I'd actually, you know, that's my sort of bag, I guess. Although it's financed, I haven't financed the car yet, so. Don't finance a Challenger. No, I'll finance a Camry. Or at least I would if it wasn't currently like five hundred pound a month, which I no, no. <laughs> oh God! Wait, is the Challenger that bad? Uh, four hundred and three bi-weekly. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Fuck. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no. Ooh, no thanks. I'm okay. <laughs> I'd rather just pay for my car when it breaks slightly. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't really want to spend 513 quid a month on a new Camry. Because, you know, that money could be better spent on... I don't know. Half of the stuff said in the Roadhog song, I guess. Oh, hell no, Albuquerque. What costs more to finance, Albuquerque or Scotian's Challenger? Write down below in the comments section. I prefer Albuquerque. <laughs> I prefer... <laughs> Would Albuquerque get you to work quicker? I guess if you owned an entire state. Hmm. What privileges do you get by owning an entire state? I mean, it's Albuquerque, so... I think, is Albuquerque State? I think it is. It's a weird owl song, I don't know that much. And a crystal oh, line. In it's in, it's a city in New Mexico. Oh Jesus, I don't want to own New Mexico. <laughs> I have enough issues with Old Mexico. Hey, we get to level 2 affinity with Alfa Romeo, I'm sure that'll be useful in the future. For Alfo, Al Alfo, Alfa Romeoing. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time we're we'll taking a look at the Sayat Ibiza Cupra spec series. So join us for that. Until then, farewell.